Today we are going to create two beautiful cutting boards from an old piece of curly mahogany and a bit of maple. Enjoy! Good morning fellow woodworkers, welcome back to another video. The wonderful people from Design Holz decided to send me a thick piece of mahogany for completely free because I'm purchasing a lot of my wood from their shop um, and yeah they just wanted to say thank you to me by giving me this piece of wood right here. This is why I decided to create a cutting board made from on the one hand this piece of mahogany and a bit of maple. This is going to be my first two-fold end crane cutting board and I hope it's going to turn out nicely. More information about design holds during the video. I'm not sponsored by them at the moment but I still want to mention them because they consist of very nice people running a very very nice shop and I think you should know about them a bit more. And now we are going to dive right in. As usual, let's start by preparing our lumber. All right, looking pretty good apart from a few parts where um, mahogany is going to break off. We are going to get rid of these for now and just going to use this side but overall I'm satisfied with how the mahogany is looking right now. I was um, very lucky that the board was only cut on one side and the other side was already jointed the other face so I had a very easy time letting it run through my thickness planner. And now we are going to go over to cutting the whole thing up into stripes of different sizes. One of my mahogany sides already seemed pretty square, so I checked with my level and it was indeed the case. This happy coincidence then helped me to get the other side also square with my table saw. After that was done, I cut off the rough ends. And then I proceeded to turn my lumber into strips of various different thicknesses. There we go, looking pretty good. Next comes the maple. I used the thickness of my original mahogany board as a guide to get the height of my maple strips right. We've got five mahogany strips, so let's fill the gaps with four maple ones. After that was done, I arranged the blanks to my liking and began to glue up, making sure all of them were aligned properly. Next day rolled around and then I cut off the rough ends. And then my CNC did the flattening of the first side. After all of that was done, I cut off quite a big chunk of my board. Reason for that were quite some cracks and a bit of live edge in the wood that was just not usable for my purposes. Thanks to my CNC, one side was already dead flat, so planning the other one was rather straightforward. At first I wanted to create two end crane boards, hence me cutting thinner strips again. But the mahogany and the maple looked so damn good in combination that in the end I went with a face crane and also an end crane board. Back at home it was time for the end crane board glue up. I arranged it into an experimental chaotic kind of pattern just to try out something new for once. What I did not notice until it was too late though was that the last two strips slid around a bit and arranged into a not so chaotic constellation. I'll do better next time I promise, but for now this has to suffice. Once cured I came back to my shed and flattened both boards with my mighty CNC and the white side surfacing bit I recently got. What a beast, really love that thing. Getting all sides of my end crane board square. And giving them the final touches on my router table by routing in handles and chamfering the edges. The last technical step was to send the boards from a 120 grid up to a 321. 
So at the beginning, I mentioned Design Halls, which um, is my main supplier of exotic woods. They are working on a new website at the moment and they consist of very nice people. I really like the people from Design Halls and I really like the products that they provide me with. And you should definitely make sure to check them out. As mentioned before, I'm not sponsored by them, but I still want to recommend them to everyone. They also ship internationally from time to time, so definitely make sure to check out the link at the top of the description to take a look at their new shop once it's online. And here's the moment of truth. Let's see how it does pop when applying the mineral oil. Gosh done beautifully, I would say. I hope you did enjoy today's quick video and if you did, why not make sure to subscribe to the channel. I post regularly on here and more episodes and DIY projects are sure to come. Which board did you like the most, by the way? Let me know down there in the comments and now I'll let you enjoy a few more spicy shots of these beautiful bastards. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Ciao!